Next up is the mixer tab. This is where you assign what you control with the sliders or faders and what goes on the screens and how the mutes work. You'll notice here that there's a settings tab and a lighting tab. And that's different from what we talked about last time with mic where they don't exist. There's nothing to light with the mic, so there's no reason to have that tab. But once you get to mixer and effects and sampler, you'll notice now there's this common settings and lighting. Lighting is for setting up anything to do with the colors or any of the icons that go on the screens. We'll talk about those in another video where we'll cover all of the lighting. Let's just talk about mixer settings for now. Because we have all those USB audio devices and they're all named things that are very common, like you saw, mic, chat, music, game. Well now, lo and behold, in our input selection here, we have mic, chat, music, game, console, that optical input that we have on the back, line in that we covered in the first video, system, and sample, and headphones. So what we want to do is say, what do we want on channel one right here? We'll call this channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. What do I want to control on channel one? Channel one, I've chosen my mic. Well, that's a good thing. Now I'm going to turn it down and you'll actually hear it getting quieter as I fade away. So now my mic is on that channel. I can press the mute button and it will completely kill the audio. And now I'm back. I move to channel two and I say, what do I want to have on channel two? In this case, I want my music and we'll go about how to assign devices to particular programs in Windows, because a lot of those types of programs don't have that functionality natively in another video. But this way it allows me to set up things in whatever order I want. If I had my console coming in and I wanted it to be on channel two here, I'd simply click console. And now this is the level of my PlayStation or my Xbox, as it is relative to my mic and everything else. Generally, I like to run my mic at a pretty high level, usually close to 100%, and I balance everything else relative to my mic. That makes it really easy to hear myself and to also understand how it sounds in my broadcast stream. You'll notice you only have four things here. Those are for your top four, what do I need when I'm streaming or broadcasting in the moment most of the time. You make that choice, but it doesn't mean you're limited to not being able to control other things. For example, here we have mic, music, chat, change music to console obviously, so mic, console, chat, and system. Well, what about the line in? It still has its own slider over here that you can control through the app. So I put things that are much less crucial onto those sliders, leave them over here, but put the really important stuff onto the ones that I manage in real time. That's essentially it for the mixer. We'll go into mute options and some of the in-depth tips and tricks in another video. But the next video we're gonna cover is effects and how you manage all of the vocal effects, the fun stuff that's in GoXLR. Since the release of the product, there's been some debate over whether or not we should have what's called a submix for your mic level in your headphones. So people wanna hear themselves less than the broadcast stream mix does. Now that went a little bit against what we thought we wanted the product to do, but after lots of discussion with the community, we did decide to add a headphone monitoring level for your mic into the headphone tab. So if you go to the mixer, you'll see a new tab here that you can pop out. When you do, this slider here affects how much of your mic you hear in the headphones. That's why it's an advanced control within the headphone menu. Slide it all the way up and you hear exactly what your broadcast stream mix hears relative to music and game and all that other stuff. Slide it down and you'll hear yourself less. Now you'll notice it only reduces to 50% because at 50% you can effectively barely hear yourself. It's like a tiny whisper in your ears. We didn't want any ability in the product to reduce this to zero and then have you have this closed and say, hey, why can't I hear myself? So the minimum level is 50% and you'll find yourself barely audible at that level. Most people are finding that they run themselves at 80 or 90 or even 95%, just taking a tiny bit of the edge off of the level of their microphone in their headphones. So that's been added in a recent update. 